Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Special Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, Naiwa 9 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube on Iowa TV. In the headlines, former Prime Minister Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bisasa believes Trinidad and Tobago is suffering under an oppressive government. Tobago needs to mash some toes to forge ahead, says TAJ Chief Secretary Farley Augustine. Woman shot and killed in Santa Cruz, and internationally UK supermarket chain offers free food to staff over the winter season to help with the high cost of living. And now the news in detail. Opposition leader Mrs. Kamla Prasad Bisasa believes that Trinidad and Tobago is suffering under what she calls an oppressive PNM government. She made the harsh remark in her Independence Day address to the nation. The former one-term Prime Minister says TNT has come a long way since its independence, but its people are still being oppressed. She stated that while there is much that we can be proud of as a nation, the stark reality is that Trinidad and Tobago is still in a state of dominated control under an oppressive regime. According to Pasar Bisasa, for 40 of the 60 years of independence, the People's National Movement was in charge and the country, in her opinion, has deteriorated. Pasar Bisasa said during the 11 years under the United National Congress, there was significant economic growth and prosperity, lower crime rates, higher education participation and opportunities for young people, and overall a better quality of life. In other news, TAJ Chief Secretary Farley Augustine says it's time to take Tobago, it's time Tobago make some progressive steps and forge ahead. He said so in his independent speech at the Shaw Park Cultural Complex in Tobago. Augustine said it won't be easy and the sister island will have to step on some toes in stepping forward, but they are ready to mash and move forward. Augustine explained that this would mean Tobago has to deviate from some things that have become traditional and adopt some new approaches. He said no country ever gets to a progressive state without taking bold moves. The TAJ chief stated that he hopes in the 60th year of independence, Tobago is ready to take bolder moves. He also reiterated his call for a resolution on Tobago's self-governance. In more news, a 28-year-old woman was shot dead on Independence Morning in Santa Cruz. Ashley Morris of Grasso Seco Road, Santa Cruz, was found bleeding from multiple bullet wounds by residents of Lacana Road following a series of gunshot explosions. A 28-year-old man, said to be a relative of another man who was shot the day before in the area, was also shot in his left leg. Internationally, a supermarket chain in the UK, John Lewis and Wade Rose, are offering staff free food from October to January to help with the cost of living. The meals during work hours are for permanent staff, known as partners, as well as temporary and agency workers. Andrew Murphy, Chief Operations Officer at the John Lewis Partnership, said its workers make the difference. Soaring food costs have pushed UK inflation to 10.1%, with prices continuing to rise at their fastest rate for more than 40 years. Staying on the international scene, a 20-month-old child has died in Spain after being struck on the head by a hailstone. About 50 other people reported injuries, ranging from bruises to bone fractures from the freak 10-minute storm that hit the Girona region of Catalonia on Tuesday evening. The hailstorm also destroyed roofs, downed power cables, and shattered windows. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, recapping the headlines. Former Prime Minister Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bisasa believes Trinidad and Tobago is suffering under an oppressive government. Tobago needs to mash some toes to forge ahead, says TAJ Chief Secretary Farley Augustine. Woman shot and killed in Santa Cruz, and internationally, UK supermarket chain offers free food to staff over the winter season to help with the high cost of living. On behalf of the Street 919 FM, we do apologize for Pastor who will not be in here with us today, but we have a replay of the glorious Independence Day parade yesterday that we're going to show to you again right now.